Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing Nine and unfortunately this isn't going to be a very positive review. I'm probably not going to even edit it up, edit it up into sections like I normally do with my film reviews because it's going to be a quick video. I did not enjoy this and I will say this now. And the reason why it's quite hard for me to say that is because this is a Tim Burton film or at least Tim Burton produced it. Now I do not know how much involvement Burton had with this. I don't know if he just gave money to it or if he had any say in the way it went. But I'm a bit taken aback that he direct it, uh, produced it, sorry, I, um, I don't really think it's right, to be perfectly honest. There are um, three other names in the production as well, so I do think it is just a money thing, but never mind. It's directed by Shane Acker, and it's not the best of films. I will admit the cover itself is quite attractive. It, it looks eye-catching, and the title doesn't give anything away, you know, so I think I was drawn in by that. It has taken me quite a long time to write it. And, and the premise, I guess, is fairly interesting as well. The world has been taken over by machines, which, you know, is kind of a, something that a lot of us or a lot of people do kind of fear technology taking over, and the world has been destroyed. And what is left is a monstrous machine that's trying to attack, but also these little creatures. Um, my friend and I called them sack people because they look like they're made out of potato bags, basically. And there are nine of them. Um, though the title doesn't specifically re refer to nine, it refers to this character here. Um, nine, voiced by Elijah Wood. And these little people have to save each other from this giant monster. And I'm like, right, that's fairly interesting. But my issue with it, I have two issues. One is the development of the narrative. I thought it wasn't really going anywhere. We could see what they had to do. We could see they had to work out one specific thing. They had to work out what certain symbols mean. I'm not going to say any more than that, just in case you do enjoy it. I don't want to spoil it for you. And then they have to try and escape this this monster, which you can see a, a picture of there, so you can see kind of what we're dealing with if the light stops shining. So it's quite a, a basic plot, you know, a lot of films kind of deal with that sort of thing. But to me, and, and this may contain a slight spoiler if you, don't, if you do plan on watching it, so uh, be warned. But to me, the ending was kind of like, really? The good thing about the ending is that it was unexpected. It's not the ending that I was expecting. What happened to some of the characters was, you know, beyond my guesses. So I guess that was fairly interesting if I had to find something good about it. But the ending was just kind of like, it left me hanging a bit. I'm like, what happens next? And that's not because I wanted to know what happens next. That's not because I cared about what happened next. It's more so because I was like, this doesn't really tie anything up. And maybe there are people out there who like that kind of thing. But there was no kind of revelation. There was, there was nothing really answered. And nothing was really clear in terms of why, you know, why this monster was attacking and things. I mean, there was certain points where it was kind of explained, but not enough to satisfy me, and not enough for me to say that's a good thing to generate the plot. So the plot wasn't very really good. Uh, in terms of visuals, it's a bit repetitive. Uh, it's all kind of set in this one space where it's just like a, a metal junkyard because, you know, the machines have destroyed Earth. I, I also had to ask the question, is this the only monster on Earth? You know, are there others in other cities? I guess that's left open for the audience to decide. Personally, I think it was a little bit weird. In terms of the actual characters, the little uh, people are they're quite cute. Um, it's quite fun to play the game of remembering who's got which number because there are nine characters and each of them has a different number. So my friend and I spent pretty much the entire film just trying to remember uh, which character is which. But in a kind of fun way, we made little games out of it just to get us through the actual dire dryness of the story itself. Um, also, there are kind of... This character here, I don't know if there's a picture of him, but my friend pointed out he's awfully like Oogie Boogie. Um, <laughs> she made a valid point. Uh, Mr. Burton, we're going to take your money, then we're going to take your character. But uh, he, maybe Tim Burton had involvement in that, I don't know. The cast, however, is good. You've got Christopher Plummer, Crispin Glover, Elijah Wood. That's all right. But even then, it's if somebody said name an Elijah Wood film, you're never in a million, million years going to name nine. So the big question is, would I recommend it? No. I'm as a as a you know, Burton knight. It's kind of really hard to confess that there is a Tim Burton film that I wouldn't recommend, even though he did only produce it. But then he only produced Nightmare Before Christmas, and that is phenomenal. You know. I mean, I don't like Mars Attacks, to be perfectly honest, but I would rather watch Mars Attacks than Nine. I'm not that impressed. It is a 12 certificate. There are some bits where it's quite gruesome, and to be honest, the directing is quite good during those bits where 
whenever you see a human it, it's quite shocking and quite good and quite well done but that's probably one second out of every 10 minutes and the film's only an hour and 16 minutes long I think it's not that long at all I definitely wouldn't recommend it I mean I guess if you're a Tim Burton fan and other, other die-hard Tim Burton fans like myself who have to see everything he's done I'd say see it just so you can compare it with the rest of his works as I said it's not really a Tim Burton film it's a Shane Acker film but I know a lot of people have watched this as a Tim Burton fan you can see there from producer Tim Burton it is heavily marketed as a Tim Burton film and I know some people will not like me saying that. Some people say, well, no, it's a Shane Acker film. Fair enough. But that's not what it's marketed as. So, you know, let me know your thoughts. Maybe you did enjoy it. Maybe I'm being too harsh. But I had high hopes for this. Really high hopes for this. And it really let me down. Let me know your thoughts. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.